Hello, this is Donna Lewis with the Clark County Park District, and today we're going to talk about what to do if you find a baby duck. So this is the time of year to find a lot of baby animals out there, and you'll find ducks in very unlikely places. So one of the most common ducks, the most common duck besides domestics, but the most common wild is the mallard duck, and this is the drake. This is a male, so he's much more, much prettier than the female. Females drab in color so that she blends in and he wants to stand out and get predators away from the female. He will also use his prettiness to attract the ladies. So the the male, bir male bird in many species is prettier, um, not in all. And then we also in Ohio have one of our other common ones is the wood duck. This one's not here all year long, but um, it is here in the spring and summer. And this is the female. And this is the male. These are stuffed specimens um, of these species. Now, wood ducks are pretty amazing in that they put their um, nest, they make their nest in a hole in a tree. It can be pretty high up, 75 feet up maybe. Um, they will also nest in nest boxes um, in waterways. People put nest boxes out for them. But because they don't have as many old trees as they used to, but they prefer to nest in holes in old trees. And those little babies, which are like this big, will jump out of those nests when they're ready to go to the water. Mom will down, be down below, kind of encouraging them. You can find videos of this online. It's really cool. They just kind of bounce on the leaf litter below and then they go to mom. So those are the two most common species that you'll see, but we do get a lot of different species in the spring due to migration. So um, what if you get to the store, you're going grocery shopping, shopping with some friends, maybe you went to the restaurant to eat, and you see little baby ducks in the landscaping. Is this normal? What's up with that? Well, mallard ducks especially nest everywhere. They'll nest at doctor's offices in the nice little landscaping they have. They'll nest in the front of malls. Um, yes, they prefer to nest near waterways, but there's not as many nesting spots as there used to be wild nesting places. So, a lot of times Canada geese and mallard ducks will nest near us. Sometimes it's not very conveniently close to water. So when the baby, the babies hatch, she tries to get them to water pretty quickly. Um, so if there's no mom, that's the problem. Babies are always with mom. So the first thing you wanna do, number one, check to see if there's a mom. She's going to be nearby. She's going to be upset if you get too close to her babies. So check to see if mom's nearby. If it's just one little baby out near a busy, in a busy park where there's lots of domestic and wild ducks and there's one by itself with no mom, some maybe it got separated. So you can carefully cup it in your hand, walk around, let it peep, and you might hear mom answering back. That's one way to try. Um, but no mom. What if there's no other ducks around? You, there's this one little baby and no other ducks anywhere. Or you've got a whole brood of little babies, no mom. Okay, so baby ducks of any species are never without mom. She is always there to protect them. So it's very unusual to find them without a mom unless something has happened to her. Maybe something scared her off, maybe a car got her, maybe a predator got her. So the first thing you wanna do is get a container to get those babies in. That's the easiest part sometimes. So you don't always have like a box sitting in your car. So if it's one little baby, you can probably just use a shoe box. But sometimes we will have a paper bag, okay? Or a um, reusable shopping bag. So this is kind of a nice one. It's kind of breathable. It has a good solid bottom to it. You can put the babies in there with a little soft shirt or a little cloth if you have it, which would be nice. Um, if not, this will work anyways. Just make sure it's gonna stay open and not come in on them. So you want a pretty sturdy bag. So you can use that, and then hopefully you have like a shirt or something that you can use to help catch them. But you don't always. I didn't last time I helped, stopped to help some baby ducks. So enlist some help. Maybe there's a fisherman nearby. Maybe there's another shopper nearby. Maybe you can just call somebody to come and help you real quick. Better to stand there and wait with them if they're in a safe location than to try to get them on your own. Um, babies, baby ducks are fast and hard to catch. And I've, I never, I never learned this and I'm never prepared. So ideally you want something to enclose around them. So maybe you have a sheet you can get to maybe stretch out with somebody else and just enclose them under that bush and then 
go in there and just grab them, okay? Yes, you have to be careful, but these are pretty resilient little guys, okay? So um, that's the best thing. But are you going to have a sheet with you or, you know, I mean, a net would be ideal, right? Who has one of those? So you don't usually have what you need with you. So catching baby ducks is going to be a little hard. So what you can do is enlist the help of someone else. Um, it's best to have them kind of scare them towards you and you grab them, put them in the container. It's best to have two to four people um, at a time um, catch, helping you catch them. I had some nice people help me catch the other day, or not long ago. It was two young boys and their mom, and it took all of us to get them. So, And we knew no mom was around. So you have to have some help, enlist some help to get them. And then, you know, get them in the bag and call a wildlife rehabilitator. So in the Miami Valley area, it would be Bruckner Nature Center here in Miami Valley of Ohio. But you can go to the Ohio Wildlife Rehabilitators Association website, or there's also a national website for rehabilitators. And find one in your area so that you know who to call. If you have to keep them for any length of time, just to make sure, make sure you put them in a decent sized box for how many you have. Um... Uh, make sure there's holes in the box. Give them, uh, line it with paper towels, not newspaper, so they don't slide all over it. Maybe a little stuff to nest. Maybe some crumpled up paper towel to nest on, especially if it's only one. And you can give them a lid of water, like a peanut butter jar lid. Remember that baby ducks can only go in the water after mom, which this would be dad, but after the adult duck puts oil over their over their down they can't just get in the water because they're not protected so they'll be hypothermic so just a lid of water not deep water and just some cut up grass soft grass from your yard make sure it hasn't been treated so safe grass um if single you want to put a heating pad on low on half the containers so they can get so they can have a little bit of warmth make sure that they ha they can get out of it um, so that's what you can do until you can get them to somebody. But the best thing to do is to get them to a re rehabilitator as soon as you can. I can't say that word today. Um, and don't take care of it yourself. That's very important because um, baby ducks raised by themselves don't usually do very well, especially these wood ducks. Wood ducks do not do well alone in captivity. They need to be with other ducks. Sometimes they're mixed with um, mallard ducks so that they do better. So it's never a good idea to have them by themselves. And if you um, raise them, they may be too tame. And you have to have training for this. So leave it to a wildlife rehabilitator that does this. This is their job. This is what they know. This is what they do. So um, if you have any questions concerning baby ducks or any other baby animals, you can email me at dlewis at clarkcountyparks.org. You can also call us at 937-882-6000. Again, thanks for watching our video on what to do if you find a baby duck. And if you find one out there, I hope this helps you and he does too. All right, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.